Hey everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Warlords 3, Dark Lords Rising. We are on Chapter 2 of the Bane Wars campaign. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and dive in and get started. You have freed the Syrian lands, but there is still trouble in the other realms of Megaria. More undead travel through Theria or land in the Bay of Storms every day. The knights are fighting in a disorganized fashion. If they do not unite, then they will eventually be destroyed. You must seek out the other four orders of knighthood to drive the forces of chaos and death from the forests of Agaria. Beware the treacherous guild irons. To claim victory, you must continue to occupy your capital city of Marthos while Lord Bane and Lord Sartek are chased from the land. You must also capture sufficient cities to force the other knights into accepting your authority. Alright. So, we get a new hero to start here, a priestess, uh, Lady Algora. So we'll accept that. Now, before I, I start anything here, this, this map is very... Uh, not only is it it's a it's a much bigger map but there's a lot more going on here we have uh, Lord uh, Bane to the north here uh, Sartek I believe is over here he starts out in the Bay of Storms uh, this Valeri the white city of Wizards Isle is home to many powerful wizards uh, so he's up there he'll start um, going down here and invading uh, the lands there. I think he's also, yeah, Elrim. The citadel on the border of Salentia and Elenia has changed hands many times. And he does have this city, Bargard Keep, Therian Knights Guard against the Bartonian Knights from here. So his, he's got kind of, you know, cities spread out here. So he's gonna, he's gonna travel south and take out, uh, the, the forested lands there. Uh, but we've got to worry about Bane and Sartex cities here for sure. Now, there are other factions here. There's the knight, knightly factions. There's the green faction here. Uh, the Alinians. Uh, there's a yellow one here. Uh, the Gildines, which is what it was warning us about. And then there's uh, the blue faction, the Bartonians. Oh, and there's another one up here, uh, to just to the north of us, uh, the Therians. Right. So, even though, if I go to the diplomatic report here, it does say that um, we're at peace with everybody, uh, except Bane and Sartek. This is us here. Um, and right now, um, the only alliances are between Bane and Sartek. This is the little icon here. So, now, even though um, there's peace between um, the other the orders of the knights, it doesn't mean they, they won't attack you. So, you have to be careful here. You can form alliances with them. I don't know how. I don't really know how solid those alliances can be. Um, see, I can offer alliances to all these other factions. Uh, I really don't know how that works, though. Uh, these first two say they're trust. Uh, they trust me. The second is friendship, and the third, the fourth one there is uh, uh, uncertainty. Um, you can bribe them with money as well. Let's just see what happens here. I, I don't really know. It might, it, it might give me a report on the next turn whether they accepted the alliance or not. But right now we're just, we just have peace. There's, there's no like nothing solid about uh, that at all so 
we do have to be careful um, about that. I can't just go after Bane and Sartek and expect to win. Uh, I have to be careful of the other uh, factions here. So I think the, the first thing we need to do is take these two cities here in our realm and kind of guard them and see where to go from there. Now we do have a we do have a couple uh, we have a tower there and a shrine there. We also have another one up here, the black tower. Now for the most part the the enemies or the other armies, the other factions, they can't cross water without going through a port or a road or a bridge right here. So they wouldn't be able to cross over here. They'd have to they'd have to cross here. So this this city for sure, uh Wildegar, uh is very important to guard as well as this city here, uh Troy. They can both be used as ports to travel downstream. There's a port here but again, they can't go directly across. They have to. They have to go up to another port on the other side. Um, so this side is pretty well guarded, um, unless they have flying. It's not really a big deal. Um, but I think we'll know when they're coming uh, to guard against that. Um, so let's for sure. Let's uh, let's take back this city here and this city down here. Now I do want to focus. Now one of the things um, I didn't do in the last uh, chapter one is I didn't take any quests for my heroes. You can have one quest uh, on on your side. You can only have one quest active at a time. Um, so. Lady Elizabeth is level four. She, should I give her a quest? Hmm. Yeah, let's get her a quest. Let's see if I can find the quest. Oh, it's here somewhere. Here it is. Get quest. I forget, I have uh, haste as well. I should cast haste. I wonder if that's... Uh, I wonder if that always applies to whatever, you, whatever units you have in the army, or if it's just the units you currently have in your army. Let's, let's wait on that. I think. Let's get the quest first. Now, we have a choice here between an easy quest, an average quest, and a hard quest. And <clears throat> judging uh, from what I've read in the manual, the hard quests are really hard. They will have you uh, going to the other ends of the map to capture a city or something like that. But they, they give you really good rewards too. Um, I'll definitely be focusing more on easy or average quests. Easy quests are kind of like um, quests that are nearby that you can just... They don't always involve combat. You just have to maybe visit a city or something. And the average quests um, can involve combat. And uh, they're kind of uh, a little further travel sometimes. But they do offer a much better reward than, than an easy quest. In this instance, I think I'm going to go with an average quest, uh, just because uh, Lady Elizabeth is a higher level, and I think she can she can manage an average quest, and the payoff will be really good. Lady Elizabeth enters the temple. Choose a quest from those listed below, so I can burn an enemy site. I can occupy a rival temple, or I can search a ruin. I think I'm going to search a ruin. 
It could be out there, though. Okay, I gotta go north. That's easy. The Arnost Ruins. Okay. Great. Alright. So... Um... Should I try casting that spell? It sounds like it only applies to what you have in your army at the time. I'm gonna move her here and take these, uh, these knights. And then, um, we're gonna cast... well... I say we take this city first. Um, Wayrith. Let's take this city first. Ooh. I got that, uh, uh, so Lady Elizabeth has the death is it Deathstalker that kills uh, undead units? Has a chance of killing them outright. So, um, this is another thing I had to kind of look up in the manual. Um, it, it does pay off to at least pillage a city. Um, because pillaging means that... Uh, it destroys the production of an enemy um, army that can be built in that city and not one of your own armies. It's, it's kind of weird how it works, but usually it pays off to pillage. You know, it does reduce the city, uh, the defense of the city down one, but in this instance, um, the city is already, uh, it's just a village, so it won't go down anymore. All that's happening here is, uh, I believe, the enemy, uh, the enemy's production of that skeleton or whatever that, that was there is going to be destroyed when I pillage the city. Now, sacking it would likely um, get rid of production of one of my units, so I probably don't want to do that. So let's just pillage. Wayworth has been pillaged for 25 gold. The ability to produce one unit has been lost, and now two units remain. So, that was that skeleton that um, could have been produced there by the enemy. Now we can't, we can't, you know, we have no interest in producing skeletons because we're knights. So that does doesn't make any difference to us. So we can still produce uh, heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. Um, let's go with heavy cavalry. Um, okay. So we took that city. Now, it's very important to have defenders in these cities because uh, the worst thing to do is le to leave a city empty because it's just it's just theirs for the taking. In this instance, I think I'm going to move uh, Lady Eliz Elizabeth to the north and go after that quest. I'm going to go this way. Okay, and then hopefully, let's see what happens when I cast this, this spell now. Okay, so it doesn't take effect this turn. It added four.
but I still was able to do quite a bit. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to just produce heavy infantry in these cities. Yeah, the defense is the same. Oh, no, no, that's not defense. That's, uh, well, I guess it could be defense. That's hit points. I was confused that. That, that fist there is how many hit points they have. How many hits it takes to kill them. Right. So, the heavy infantry and heavy, the, the knights are the same, uh, hit points. It's just that the knights have more strength. Which, man, I, I kind of think it's still worth getting knights there. Um, they have that warding, which is nice. It, the warding, um, it, it, it gets rid of, like, curses and poison and things like that. So I'm going to defend there. They are definitely going to defend there. We do have some more knights over here, which is nice. Um, I would like to take this city down here. Um, it is a castle. It's not going to be easy, but with the help of some, I think I gotta, let's see, let's take them this way, okay, and we're going to bring um, Lady Algora down here. To take these ruins. Okay. We're also going to move this infantry over to here just to defend against any attacks that might happen. And then these two heavy cavalry will move up here to meet Algora. And all these units is four plus the hero. That should be enough to take this city here, these skeletons. Okay. Um. Should we just, uh, should we just do, yeah, heavy cavalry. They got a five attack, two defense, or two. How do they differ from the knights? Knights have plus two in field. And the warding. So the, the knights are better for the most part. The cavalry can travel further though. They're a little bit quicker. Okay. think that's okay for now. We're producing heavy cavalry there. Um, oh, knights. Okay. That's probably okay. And we want knights here. Okay, this is looking good. All right, <clears throat> I think I think we're done with our turn. We've hopefully the some of the alliances will come through. See what happens. There's a lot of reports here that I got to look at too.
What is going on there? Mana report. Uh, yeah, these are the cities that produce mana. That city produces mana. Hmm. There's not very many. Interesting. These are the factions and how much gold they're producing currently. You own five cities. This is, uh... You are coming first. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go to the next turn here. Yeah, I see that the Sartek got pretty close to our border there. I don't know what he's doing. battles to report. Did anything happen with the, the alliances? Let's see. Oh, um... I am now allied with green. Okay. Oh, they don't like me. <laughs> the blue uh, uh, at my border here. Okay. I could probably bribe some of them too. Okay. Well, I only have 500 gold. So they're... Uh, that's Sartek right there. He's got a centaur or something. Which I'm not a fan of. Um, okay. Let's have Algora go down here and take this out. Giant wolf. And Lady Algora finds a sword of light. Right. Um, that plus one strength. But that's only for her. So, I mean, it doesn't help a whole lot. Because she's a, she's a priestess. So. Um, let's have these guys come down here. Can we get over there? No, we can't. I would like to get there, though, and take him out as quickly as possible. So next turn, we'll take that city of Corhalia. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to move this over here. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know I don't think they can they can reach this city in the middle I'm gonna take my chances all right let's travel up here with Lady Elizabeth take this black tower an evil knight moved in this tower has not been seen for ten years.
Black Knight. We got the Medal of Valor, which I believe... This medal, this medal makes any group of warriors fight as if they were veterans. That's great. That's great. And I also have the Ring of Power, which is morale plus one. And uh, Helm of Command is plus one leadership. So that makes all of my units uh, fight a little bit better. Okay. Now, this guy here, the Therians... Therians. This one? Uh, friendship. Hmm. Well, just gotta be wary of them. Just gotta be careful. Let's travel over here. I don't know. They were, they looked like they were trying to get this city right here, but uh, they didn't attack it. Okay. I think that's going to do us for the turn. Again, I, I don't think I want to give money to anybody just yet. <clears throat> At least I got an alliance with uh, Green, though. Whatever that might mean, I, I assume it's going to be a little more. I, I could be. I can rest a little easier knowing um, that I can trust them. see what happens just gotta watch and be sure of anybody who approaches my border okay so they went down there and took that city that with that uh, that centaur and I don't know where they're going I guess they're going to take one of those... Oh! They got attacked, but they lost. Bane attacked him. Ooh! Dwarf infantry. Well, I mean, they're, they're, not, they're not great. They're very slow. <laughs> they do have three hit points. They're very sturdy. But only 75 gold. Absolutely. For five units... That's fantastic. Nox, uh, wait, wait, Cronaxia is slain. So it, it'll only report uh, my battles, not every, uh, everybody else's. But so he, uh, a hero or somebody attacked this unit here and lost. That was that was interesting. Yes. It looks like I can get over there and attack him. This is a hero here. It is a stronghold. It is a stronghold. Um, so we got to be very careful here. I think we can. I think we can do it, though. I think I'm pretty sure we can do it. Beautiful. All right. Yes. Okay. So, uh, the Battle of uh, Peruith. We're going to do... Uh, pillage and Sack are the same. So, we're going to go with the less uh, volatile option of Pillage. We get uh, 374 gold pieces, which they lost all of these units. Oh, that was that wasn't a. Um, I thought that was a hero. It was a it was a wrath, a wraith. <laughs> okay. C 
cool. I will have to buy production for the city. Um, let's see. Plus one versus cities. They only have two hit points. The Night Lords have three hit points. Ah. They have Dragon Slayer. Okay. Interesting. The hit points mean a lot. Now the catapults only have one hit point. <laughs> Well, I think I think we just need defense. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with the heavy infantry. It's only eighty gold pieces. Um, we're gonna have to defend this city. That's where we need to go to uh, to do our quest. I don't know if we could. Can we reach this? We could. We could. Um, let's do it. Well, so I, I'm I'm kind of calculating the risks here. There's not a whole lot of armies within range. There there is this army over here, but there's no way he's going to make it down here to attack the city. I don't believe. That is. That's a, a vicious looking unit there. Trog maybe it's a troglite. Um, there is a. Looks like a, a bat there or something. Maybe a, a wyvern. But. If they. If, if one of these units go up here and take the city, it's not going to be a big loss, I suppose. I could leave a couple units there. That. Let's do that. We'll just take out this unit here. There we go. Alright. And I would like to get this, uh, this quest done as quickly as possible. We'll just, we're just gonna have to monitor, uh... Be very careful what we're doing there. Oh, and here's the, uh, here's all the, uh, the Dwarven, it's, a uh, Dwarf Infantry. Okay. That is fantastic. Alright, let's see, before I attack, let's have this guy go over here. Uh, how far can he go? You can get over there. Have that extra unit. Just in case. Let's go ahead and attack. Yeah, they only have one hit point. Yeah. Alright. Okay. We're just going to pillage again. Gotta go with the knights. All right. Um, let's uh, let's go take these two. So there's one here. There's the Aldrich Tower, and then there's another one over here, the Source, which will give us some experience. Defend there with that unit. These knights will defend here. That shouldn't be a problem for them. Okay. Yeah. 
Everything's looking pretty good. So far, anyway. Let's take these and maybe we have all of our inf infantry together. Oh, I just I just realized underneath them you can see the total movement this stack of units have. So it's going to be the lowest movement in the stack. And then you can also see what terrain they're in, which in this case it looks like it's hills. That's interesting. I didn't even see that before. Now we could take this uh, this night unit and do something else with it. I'm not sure what though. I'm gonna go join this unit here in the middle. I'm just kind of wary about getting attacked. Now I'm leaving. I'm leaving my capital open just because I don't think there's anybody that can re reach it in one turn. So it should be okay. Same with this city down here. It should be okay to leave it open. Uh, this city's probably fine as well. All right, I think we're gonna move to the next turn, um, but uh, I'm gonna call it for this uh, session. Uh, so join me next time as we continue uh, in chapter two. Uh, thanks for watching.